Welcome into the MMA Best Bets for UFC Vegas 55, which goes down on Saturday inside the UFC Apex there in Las Vegas, Nevada, headlined by the former UFC champion Holly Holm, taking on Caitlin Vieira. Of course, I am Jason Floyd. As always, I'm joined by the fighter Pete Rogers Jr., and we are brought to you by BetMGM. We'll be talking about BetMGM and Man, they've got a tremendous offer going on over there right now. But uh, Pete, uh, UFC Vegas 55 come up here on Saturday. What's your take, man? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's an okay card. I mean, there are definitely some interesting matchups and uh, some strikers that I want to see perform in the cage. But as far as like betting and everything, it's uh, I think it's going to be a tricky parlay card and uh, one to really just pick your spots, go fight the fight. And uh, I think you'd be a little bit more profitable going that way. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's going to be, a, it's a solid card. It's, it's a step up from last week, I think. Yeah, I do. There are some interesting money lines we'll, we'll mention out there. Of course, I mentioned about uh, Bet MGM. They've got a great offer going for you right now. Bet $10 on an NBA game. If either team hits a three pointer, then you win $200. You heard that right. Bet $10 on any NBA game. And if either team hits a three pointer, then you win $200. That wager must be a pregame money line bet. Click the link in the video description below or use the promo code OSMMA to claim your $200. Now you got to take advantage of that great deal over there, friends, with BetMGM. Uh, when we talk about the money line plays for me, I'm going to go to a female matchup on this card, and I'm going to go with Paul Viana against Tabitha Ricci. I think this is a really good spot for her. I do think this is a fight that could stretch out a while, so we might have to sweat this one out, but I do like Viana to walk away with the victory here. Yeah, it's a tricky fight for sure, and um, I, I'm kind of surprised by the odds, to be honest. I think it's a close one and, and one that you will have to sweat out for sure, but I think that the value – um, and the line just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And uh, I, I can see why you want to target that at sitting there at plus 110 is pretty fantastic for Poliana Viana. For me, I'm going to go for my money line play of the week of Jin Young Park. Uh, some people might be down on this fighter uh, because of his last performance, going out there hot against Gregory Rodriguez, um, rocking him, hurting him on the feet. And then basically the same exact thing happens to him moments later, and he gets rocked and finished and uh, – you know, recency bias is a real thing in, in the sport of MMA, especially in betting MMA. So I think this is a nice value spot for Jung Young Park. Not an easy matchup, you know, by any means at all. But I, I do think that I would I have no problem getting to him here. And uh, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that, you know, I don't know. Eric Anders is a solid fighter for sure. But I just think that this is a very winnable matchup for Jung Young Park and a fighter that I'm okay with getting to at minus 225. Eric Anders is a guy that I'm very familiar with. He has spent his entire camp there at Fight Ready to get ready for this matchup here. You know, one of the things I've always wanted with, with Eric Anders is I remember speaking to him as an amateur fighter, and I remember the stock photo I had of him was him winning a jiu-jitsu tournament. It's just something we just have yeah. not seen in MMA. It's, it's one of those interesting things there, but I, I do like uh, you know Park in this spot as well. And I think if uh, we'll talk about props later on, but that prop of him via decision I think is an interesting one out there. Now, uh, three fighter Park. Parlay. Let me let me kick it off with you. With uh, what do you like there for your three fighter parlay? Yeah, it's it's a tricky week for parlays to be honest because I I'm like so tempted in so many spots, but then I'm also like evaluating their opposition and I'm like, could could this be a spot where I'm um a little you know underestimating their opponent a little bit and they could actually spoil the parlay? So I'm gonna go with Jinion Park starting it off again. Um, I'm also gonna combine that with Elise Reed. And then the final piece, the third leg of the parlay is going to be Holly Holm. Now, this is a situation where I feel like if I'm com if I'm comfortable with getting two out of the three and it's a it's a night where I, I just wanted to cash, I could cash out uh, early on instead of, you know, sweating out that Holly Holm fight. But, um, you know, I, I do like, you know, Park, Holm, and Reed. It sits at plus 217. I think that at least Reed on the feet is going to piece Sam Hughes up. She just needs to keep it on the feet for as long as she can. Uh, already talked about Junyun Park and Holly Holmes' experience, uh, you know, experience in title fights and just having the correct volume, just enough to win rounds, uh, keep it on the feet. If she can keep it on the feet. I don't see how she loses this matchup. Going to be a tough one because Caitlin Vieira's grappling is pretty serious. But uh, that that's my three fighter parlay of the of the week. I feel like this is the first time that we've had a three fighter parlay where yeah. we don't have some overlapping between yeah. us two. This is kind of an odd one here for me. Uh, first off, I'm going to start off with Chidi Injikawani. We also, he did there in his UFC debut. I mean, look, there's a reason he's called Bang Bang. I mean, we, we all know what Chidi Injikawani wants and does there. So I like him. I like Omar Morales against uh, Medic. 
And also the third leg of my parlay is going to be a guy. I'm going to talk about my prop bets as well. And that is Jonathan Martinez. He's taking on Vince Morales. We both kind of similar odds here. Yours plus 217, mine's plus 261. Uh, Jonathan Martinez is going to be an interesting one to me. Uh, he, one of his best friends is Chris Gutierrez, who's gone up against Vince Morales. Who, of course, anyone remembers that fight is the fact that Chris Gutierrez really used those leg kicks. So I like Inji Kwani, Omar Morales, and Jonathan Martinez for my three fighter parlay. Of course, this is the MMA best bets for UFC Vegas 56, and we are sponsored by Bet MGM, and they got a special going on for you right now. Bet $10 on any NBA game, and if either team hits a three-pointer, then you win $200. Wager must be a pregame money line bet. Click the link in the video description below or use the promo code OSMMA to claim your $200. Now turn big plays into paydays with Bet MGM. Join the king of sportsbooks. Now, as we look at the props, I'm going to go with that Jonathan Martinez, Vince Morales fight. And I know that this is maybe a little bit of a crazy prop here, but I'm going to say, give me the under two and a half rounds here. Plus 160. I think someone's going to be a finish. I don't blame you. I, I truthfully don't blame you. And uh, Jonathan Martinez was one of the names that I was like, so convinced. And I'm like, I got to put him in my parlay. And then I just kept thinking about it. And you know, what we've seen from Morales is some of his best stuff yet. And uh, I think that there's volatility surrounding both sides because Martinez was on such a run. And now this could be a situation where they're both improve. One's improving and one could be declining. And I do like that. Just take basically take the bias out of it and just hope that you're just, it's a violence play. And uh, for me, I'm going to basically, do the same thing for the Injikwani and Dusko Todorovic fight. And I'm going to either pick the, uh, doesn't go to uh, to decision sitting at minus 185, not the best odds, but I feel like in that fight, somebody could get finished because cheating and Chihuani, his striking is phenomenal. And Dusko Todorovic gets hit quite often. He gets rocked so much. His striking defense is non-existent. But I keep having like little nightmares about cheating and Jaquani getting taken down and just getting brutalized on the mat. So as much as I want to back Chidi and Jaquani via KO sitting at plus 145, plus 150, I'm just probably going to take the safer money and say that the fight doesn't go to decision sitting at minus 185. I feel like that's the way to go about that fight. I am favoring uh, Chidi and Jaquani in the matchup, but that's kind of like it's another violence play for me. Yeah, I mean, I think you hit that that fight right on the nail right there. I mean, the one th one where I would have is is she potentially getting taken down? I do think that's Dusko's path to get the victory here. But yeah, I like that one there as well. Of course, appreciate everyone tuning in here for the MMA best best for UFC Vegas fifty five. Of course, be sure to check out our sponsor Bet MGM. Hit that thumbs up button. We really do appreciate that as well. And we will talk to you next week right here on the MMA best bets.